Hi everyone, welcome back to Be Rich. It's me, Vinod, recording from Singapore. These are my last few videos here in Singapore. Then, by the time I do my next set of recordings, I should be back in India and in Bangalore, where I'm hoping at least the Bangalore group I get to meet in the weekend. So, what did I want to talk about today? I always try to give you some stocks of value which I'm finding in the American market because this is the preamble of this channel now. So where we talk about American stocks and American companies which are in value. Lately, I've been studying about this company, which is a very old company, it's a very famous company, and it is known for its entertainment and how it's able to connect to its audience and deliver magical experiences for them. And recently made news for breaking ground in Abu Dhabi where they're building their new theme park. Of course, I'm talking about Walt Disney. And uh, I thought today we'll kind of deep dive into Walt Disney and see are we looking at Walt Disney the wrong way? Should we be looking and analyzing Walt Disney very differently? And if we do look at it very differently, should we look at the values able to unlock as value investors also differently? There was a time in space, if you go back far enough, where Apple's story was something similar. When Apple first came out about personal computings and all that, then, of course, famously Steve Jobs was ejected out of the company. Then the company floundered and they brought back Steve Jobs. And the rest is history, as they say. And the invention of the iPhone happened and the iPad and all the rest. The whole Apple ecosystem changed and the company's fundamentally DNA also changed from being a personal computing business to what they are today. So same way in Walt Disney, if you see, they've been struggling recently with, uh, I would say their movies and their online platforms, especially Disney Plus and their content, which they're creating in regular TV networks, which they call linear network. Linear networks are actual TV cables, physical cables connected. They're going through a transition known as cutting the cord where they're transitioning all the linear networks into digital streaming network. That is also happening. But what I wanted to focus on is what they're doing in the background and which doesn't get too much airplay or is spoken about in great depth when we talk about Walt Disney, especially when we're talking about it as an investment option. Yes, the movies have been some on, some off recently. They have not been able to score the success they used to. But that happens in these kinds of cyclical business and especially in entertainment when people are trying to find what is the next, what is the newest thing to do, how to get the audience's attention. So, of course, it kind of gets redundant to do part two, part three, part four for movies, but they're trying to do the best they can in that space. Meanwhile, the expansion in Abu Dhabi building the next theme park is going to be good news for them because it does generate a lot of money for them. But if you look beyond that, what are they doing? They've got a couple of hidden projects which are going on, which is something known as Project Kiwi. Then they have B, uh, BDX, Project Blue, and Stuntronics. And they're working on 3D printed bipedal robots and Newton physics engines. So in the future, though it might have seemed like a fantasy some time ago, Pixar probably will be able to generate AI movies for you on the demand based on the ideas which you or your child think of. It can start generating that kind of content because they own all those Pixar and characters. It is not in the case of live action movies. In the case of Pixar, all those characters they've created which we have come to love are theirs proprietary. So imagine living in a world where your child is able to walk into a Pixar universe and interact with those Pixar characters very freely and you know, let their imaginations go wild. That is something maybe that is there. Then based on all what I said, their hidden projects, which is Project Kiwi and the BXD robots and Project Blue Stuntronics, very soon in theme parks, we will have performance bots or park bots, which will be doing all the stunts, all the interactive elements of the park can completely be based on robots, stunt robots, which they're working on. Then finally, when Disney does come home, which very famously Disney does, 
those of you who grew up in my generation would remember Mickey Mouse and Fun House, Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, and the later generations would have seen the animated version. So imagine a future where Mickey Mouse at Disney at Home becomes one of the primary teachers and schooling methods which are available to children at home where parents start relying on this like we were told to do when we were much younger watching TV. So all this is there in the pipeline and hidden inside Disney. And all that is what I wanted to keep in perspective when I'm talking about their current quarter performances and where they are at value or not. So this is the future which I'm looking at thinking Disney would be probably become a tech company which dabbles in entertainment than an entertainment company dabbling in tech. What do you think about what I just said? I would love to hear your opinion on this before I get into the numbers and uh, discuss is it in fair price today and should you be buying it or not. So here are the numbers for Disney. Quarter 1, the revenues have been up by 5%. The EPA stands at 1.76 for the quarter, up 21%, really blowing expectations out of the water. Operation income is up 31%, while the net income rose by 34% for the quarter. The segments which have been doing very well for them are direct to consumers, right? That is at up 9%, and it's been profitable for the first time. While, of course, linear networks, like I said, is slowly transitioning to digital and streaming, so there it is down by 7%. The experiences, which is other theme parks, having record revenue there and strong income coming in from there too. The free cash flow stands at $8 billion and that is up 75% from 2023, year on year that is. Debt to equity is 0.41, which means they have very little debt. So increased coverage, of course, will be very good at the free cash flow. Red flags is the streaming subscribers are declining and of course the net linear network is declining due to transitioning over to streaming. But I don't know if those will be really considered as red flags if you look at the overall picture. And if you see value, the PE is trading at 35, the PEG is at 2.5 and price to book is at 1.89 showing strong backing by investors. So finally, I do think at this crossed Disney is at value. The current price is $109. If I look at discounted cash flow, I would say it's at fair price. Relatively, I would say it should be at around $151. So the interesting value should be around $130. There's an upside here of almost 16%, which is very good if you're looking at a long-term play at Disney. So even at historical averages, if I'm looking at, Disney is a great buy right now. So what's your opinion? Do you think Disney is uh, going to slowly transition like how Apple did from being, you know, entertainment company which was dabbling in a little bit of tech to a tech company which is dabbling in entertainment? And I think it is quite possible. The kind of cash flow they're sitting on and the kind of people who are working in Disney, that Disney can tra make this transition and pull it off that in a 10 years time with the kind of backing and uh, loyal customer base which they have and general uh, positive brand value which they have. They'll be able to pull off this what I was talking about where online entertainment with AI with their partnerships with Nvidia can take them into a place. They even partnered with Google now working on AI. So I do feel in the future we can see this quite possible. Maybe it would have been an impossible dream a few years ago. It would have probably thought me thought that I was crazy to even think of this. Even I would have said the same thing. But now, considering where AI is going and how fast it's going, I think Disney is in the right position, the right company to make this transition. And it can generate a lot of revenue for them. And as investors, it can generate a lot of value for us in capital terms. So, would love to hear your opinion about Disney. Do you think what I said is true or not? And if you think I'm overstretching it and you think I'm wrong, put it down in the comments. I would love to read it. And I'll come back with you with my thoughts if I think they're warranted. Thanks for watching the video today. I hope you found it informative and entertaining as always. And nothing else more to say than good night and see you tomorrow with another one.